Hello everybody, we want to do a quick video walkthrough of our van that we're selling so you can get a better feel for all the features of it. All right, let's check it out. So first, obviously, pop top. Uh, one of the key features here, we wanted to be able to sleep for and we wanted to be able to drive with four people. So pop top was a solution to that, uh, obvious solution to that. Going with the Colorado camper van pop top. It's got a custom roof rack on it with LED light bars on both ends, um, as well as 200 watts of solar up on the roof and a Max Air uh, Deluxe fan. So um, you also see we have the awning. That was important. We wanted to create an outdoor space. I mean, the whole point of going camping is to have outdoor space. So the awning's been kind of key, um, really kind of keeps the sun off and helps create a little living space outside of the van. Uh, if we go around this way, uh, we have a rear ladder so we can access the solar panels, clear off snow, clear off dust, dirt, debris, that kind of thing. And just kind of overall generally check out the roof. Um, and then we have our road shower, which is key for taking showers without having a shower in the van. Um, it will, because it's black, it will heat up in the sun and you pressurize it and you have a hose that connects to it. You pressurize it with a bike pump or a little small NL, uh, air compressor. Creates a great shower, five gallons. You can take multiple showers. Uh, water's warm, it's fantastic. Use a little outdoor shower pop-up tent to do that. Um, propane tank underneath and our shore power connection. So you have multiple different ways to charge the batteries in this rig. Let's take a look inside. So, um, front seats both swivel. Uh, we did that. We want again wanted to create living space. Um, in order to make sure we compensated for the increase in height, we did adjust and get the lowered seat bases um, for this van. So we lowered the seat bases by uh, two inches or so. It seemed like height that the the uh, swivels raised it. So we were net zero there. So we kept the same driving position. Underneath the seats, we have on the passenger seat, the propane heater, the Propex heater. Uh, keeps you nice, warm and toasty here in Colorado mountains, um, as well as our Xantrex inverter. Both of those kind of fit nicely underneath the seats. Maximizing space was also a kind of a key design principle we had. As much little nooks and crannies we could tuck things into, we wanted to make sure we did that. Um, in order to have a footrest, when you swivel the seat, we created this little platform, which then also doubles as a cubby. Um, again, more storage, 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 storage is what we tried to, to really do. Every little space, again, maximizing as much as possible. Um, we have our propane to CO2 detector right there, um, coin flooring, and then we have our two rear seats. So this was an important feature when we had our first child. We wanted to make sure we had child safe uh, approved seats. So this was kind of a bit of a research project. Um, ultimately went with the Billitrack seat pods. So two of those. Um, with these Friedman seats that um, both flip up out of the way so it can create more room. They also unhook and you can remove them completely really quickly or slide them forward in these tracks. When you're driving, you want to move your passengers, your rear passengers up a little more so they can be a little bit more in the conversation. So um, these pop out super easily. Just to kind of give you a taste of that. And now the seat's free. So super quick, super easy, very simple. All right, moving up here, we have our isotherm stainless steel fridge. Um, we got the biggest one we could fit in here, which I believe is the 120. And this also has a freezer in it. Um, it's been plenty of space for us on multiple week trips. Um, and it also has the smart energy controller here. Uh, we also wanted to be super efficient so we could stay off grid longer and not have to worry about power. Um, moving up here is our control panel for the Xantrex controller, Victron Energy Smart, um, Smart Energy uh, Monitor. We have our water pump switch and our WeBoost switch. So we do have an 18 gallon water tank um, that is right here for the stove, um, powered by a pump. So everything's seamless there, tucks away nicely. Again, cabinet space or counter space when you need it. Um, two burner Dometic stove. Um, again, flows away when you don't need it, and you have that, all that counter space to use um, for cooking prep. Um, drawer guides, we wanted to make sure the drawers extended all the way out. So full, full extension drawers, um, locking latches here so they will not open when you're driving down the road. And again, maximizing as much storage space as we could with under sink, uh, creating a little nook there for storage and down here 
where we have a fire extinguisher and uh, the two AGM batteries down there, as well as that big shelf. So lots of storage in this part of the rig. Um, also a little shelf up here, a cubby up here for frequently accessed things. But again, this is a nice big area, um, maximizing that space um, and using that as a control panel as well. So moving up here into the pop top, um, again, this was a, a key feature. We went with the Colorado camper van pop top. One, because they're local. Two, because they create the biggest bed space in the industry of all the different pop tops available. You'll see it's about four feet of height above the bed. So it's really roomy when you're up here. Uh, tons of room, you can sit up. Um, two adults fit up here perfectly well. Um, we did upgrade the mattress. We went, um, and both mattresses are uh, uh, organic latex foam mattress. I'm from Boulder Comforts here in Colorado. Um, we want a three inch up here in the pop top and a four inch down here on the bed down here in the main part of the, the cabin. This also will flip up and you can move this out of the way and store it up there with the pop top down to create more space in this area for standing. Um, and I'm six foot tall. And even with the pop top down, even though this is a low roof van, I could stand up fully in here without hitting my head on the roof or um, needing to have the pop top pop to create that space. So that was another key feature is being able to stand up in the van, um, but have this extra living space um, when you need it. Okay, so a couple other things to point out. Thermostat is on the wall right here. So when you're in bed, you can adjust the heat um, for those cold nights when you wake up in the middle of the night and you're freezing, you can turn that on right from there, super convenient, as well as a max air fan remote. Um, you can turn on the fan um, and cool it off in here relatively quickly. All right, so. The last piece of this part is the uh, clothing storage. So we have these cubbies at the foot of the bed um, on these hinges here, that soft close hinges that will um, store all of your clothes. Um, again, nice big bed area, sleeps two adults perfectly fine. Um, six LED lights down low and six LED lights up top in the pop top, all on dimmer switches. So you can really dial in the exact um, mood you want. Um, we do also have LED light strips underneath the cabinets and in other key areas around the van that you can change color on and stuff like that. So when we're hanging out at night, watching a movie or something like that, we will turn those on um, just because we can control the colors and get a little more comfortable. All right, so let's look at the back. Again here, name of the game, storage. So. We wanted to be able to access everything. We were do bikers and runners. We want to be able to do all those activities and have things stored in the van. We do have a hitch for a bike rack as well, which we'll use sometimes. But for the most part, we will store our bikes indoors on the slide up bike tray. Um, this tray is also really handy if, if, you're, if you're not a biker or you're not carrying bikes for just accessing things that are way back here. So you don't have to crawl into the van, try to get a box. You can stack this and you can pull things out and make it very easy to, to access things. Also, we wanted to make sure we had a place for a lot of other camping gear. So we have this big pull-out drawer with this tabletop. Um, so we've cooked out here before. We use this for, you know, you don't want to cook bacon or something like that. You don't want to stick up your van. It also removes. So you have tons of storage space in here um, for all kinds of camping goodies, chairs, things like that. These are also removable. So you can adjust the spacing of what you're carrying or you can adjust the space for uh, what you're carrying. All right. Solar charge controller, um, a 40 amp MPPT charge controller from Renogy with the two Renogy solar panels up top. Our 18 gallon fresh water tank, uh, we would use as a gravity fill. So we just fill it um, from the back here. Uh, light switch for the garage. So again, we want to be able to light it up and see what's back here. We use light colored flooring on the shelves, again, to create that um, color pop for we, and also so we can see things a little bit easier. There's a, another cubby here um, for shoes. We use it a lot for shoes. Another shelf there that goes over the wheel well to cover up and, and make that space more usable. Um, and there's also actually a cubby on the front side of that um, that we've tended to use for, for dirty clothes. It's backup camera, um, some other things to cover. Backup camera, um, Apple CarPlay, uh, Kenwood stereo system, upgraded speakers, um, that kind of stuff for, for general driving purposes. 
few last things we did. Um, the lights were always a little bit dim in the stock headlamp. We wanted to do LEDs. There was not a way to do that without using glue or other ways of doing it that didn't seem like the appropriate way to do it. Finally, there was a kit that was available from Open Glass. We went ahead and purchased that. LED headlamps in the front, a lot better driving, a lot easier to see at the road. Also light bars up top, like I mentioned, there's on one on the front and one in the back. Great for when you get to a campsite or going down a dirt road at night and you need to see a little bit better. Really lights up the field um, and in the rear, really lights up when you're backing up into, into a maybe a tight campsite. Lastly, we did Billistine shock upgrades. Um, our struts in the front, shocks in the rear, Billistine B6. Um, shocks um, made a big difference in the overall ride quality of the van. A lot quieter inside now, a lot less rattles. Um, definitely a huge improvement in the overall ride and quality of the van. Okay, we lowered the pop top just so you can see what that looks like. Um, thank you all for, for viewing this video. If you have any questions, let us know. Thanks so much.